Hi, everybody. How are you? Pajama party, pajama party, pajama party. Yeah, let me set this camera's all weird. Can everybody hear me okay? Are we doing better than last night? They're saying hi, Jeremy. Hi, Karen. How are you, Angel? Jennifer. Hi. No, that's not me typing. <laughs> Hi, Karen, honey. Oh. Well, I have a box for you, Karen. And just let me know your new address as soon as you get it, and I will send it off. Kristen, how are you? Hey. So those of you who don't know me, I got a few new people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Lady Badger. I sell handbags and accessories, sometimes other things, as per requested. Um, tonight, I'm going to show some of the things that I was gifted for the holidays. Um, and if you remember me mentioning, I thought it would be fun to do a what's in this tote sale. I have two totes here sitting next to me full of goodies. Um, that I haven't seen in a while. Some of you might have seen before. Some of you probably haven't seen. I'm not sure how old they are. Um, I did cheat and look in one because the lid wasn't on there real good. But guess what was on top, ladies? I have a Smith in the big, thick, pebbled leather. Vintage, beautiful. I put a strap on it because they don't come with straps. Well, I never get them with straps. Because it, it's ironic that I found this because one, I didn't know I had it. Two, I just got a brand new one. I finally was able to score one. Score one in a Merlot, guys. I got a Smith Merlot. Brand new. Tag still hanging on it. This baby was $398, and I got it in the Merlot. Oh. <laughs> and I do still have my brown one. So now I have three Smiths. <laughs> it's pretty sad. You know, if you don't go through these totes and you don't know what you got, you know. <laughs> she is a beauty. This one's older vintage like a greenish brown she is sexy beautiful i found one of the straps that didn't sell that matched it perfectly look at that big thick as you know the smiths they can be cow leather or what have you but they're all italian I don't know if there's a difference between an American and an Italian cow, but, you know, either way, we are gorgeous. I think the Italian and Irish cows are like buffalo when they're not. Oh, I don't, I don't know. But this is amazing. Uh, amazing. <clears throat> so I will have a Smith to offer. Check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Now I went ahead, I'm bad. I went ahead, I hadn't checked PayPal and all that um, lately in the last couple of hours. I took a nap because our pajama parties tend to run pretty long. You know, I don't know what it is today. I, I was having a hard time regulating my blood sugar. So, and I'm thinking because I didn't have any of these, I'm probably going through withdrawal. I don't know what it is, but didn't even bother to brush the hair, guys. Isn't this cute? <laughs> so, holler if you're interested in this. So, that was sitting on top of one of the totes. And I didn't look and see what else was in there. We're all going to get surprised together. So, they're not. some will be stuffed, some of them won't, I'm sure. Um, these are totes that Kendall had brought, so 
that we brought from Kendall's and I haven't had a chance to get to. They were stacked in a room. Who got the fossil last night? Do you remember? Where are my notes? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have my notes here. The fossil. Polly in Paris. My uh, my vintage uh, pre-loved Smiths are always two twenty-five. I never charge any more. I know they're two forty, two sixty, three hundred and up on eBay and what have you. No, this one here is vintage. Vintage. The patina is amazing. I haven't had a chance to really go through the inside. Beautiful Florentine. Um, it's like a brownie, olivey. It's got. Oh well, it doesn't really come with it. It just kind of depends on how how you want it to sit. Some people put it right here, but these flop. So with my Smiths, I got one in the front on this little hangy. And then on the opposite side on the other. That's how I do it. And that and it and it holds it like this, so it's a much better fit than hanging it from the strap rings. Trial and error. I've done that. I like it to be a more of a snug fit because you guys know that this bag alone is probably two and a half pounds with nothing in it. It's big, thick, leather. They are no joke. They will last you forever and what i love about these are when they scratch on and what have you you can take your thumb and you can rub the scratch off or the leather cpr and a nice fi microfiber and just go over it and over it and over it until it rubs away very gently so and then they look brand new Oh, Jeremy's got a question. Uh, I'm doing it for Pauline. If oh. in it. Uh, Karen Gentry is looking to see if anyone purchased 121. And I uh, know I wanted strap number six in the belt. Or number 10, sorry. Number 10 of the belts. Was it her belts or her belts? Belts? You mean straps? Did I have belts? I didn't have belts. I don't know if she meant belts in our video or belts in Karen's last night. I don't know if she means that or not. Vintage. Hi, bags. This? You can use a Cadillac, but I find between us ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to actual cleaning of the leather, the Cadillac is fantastic. And I can see why Hadrian loves it. But I find that the leather CPR picks up twice as much dirt. I get My rags get twice as dirty faster when I use this. So I think the lifting power of the leather CPR is a bit superior to the Cadillac. She does mean straps. She does, oh, you do mean straps? Okay. Oh, MS. <laughs> you... <laughs> Girl. So there you go. You're not going to be able to see in it. Here, let's. I'm prepared. Mm. So it needs to, it's got some dust bunnies down there. It needs a good wipe out. But other than that, she's great. Because I'm not sure how long she's been in the tote, to be honest with you, because I am horrible. Hey, man. You really have to. You have to twist it. I got it. Oh, did I twist Okay. So there you go. Oh, the leather smells amazing. <laughs> With the kind of thin left. Huh? When you're holding it, it'll still kind of thin. So all they got was like... Oh, they know. It's a heavy bag. You just swing this baby over your shoulder here. All right, here we go. There you go. <laughs> Well, the blue one's even even lighter because that's an LED. That's it's yeah, even, even lighter than just a button click. Go get it. Sure, that would be much easier. 
It's in my office because that's. So my here you go, and I can't believe I found it. Yeah, because that's my personal. Flashlight. This one is. This one is vintage. This one is older. Let's see here. Let me. Gotta have the tag way down down towards the bottom. Dooney and Vintage e Dooney Burke Inc. J four five six seven eight eight seven. Florentine. I do have one. Oh, thank you. That'd be much easier. Oh, I guess it's quick. <laughs> oh, it's a quick and not a twist. Ah. I just sat down. Easy, puppy. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I think that it might have been like a chocolate at one time. And as it's patinaing, I'm seeing a little bit of like a green undertone. It is so nice. I just love where it's going. <laughs> so. Oh, Brian Jalen. Don't turn his cartoons off. Good Lord, have mercy. It'd be bedlam in here. I can hear it echoing here. There you go. Okay. So that is there. So any of my pre loved Smiths are usually only $225. That one's brand new. I can't believe I found it in Merlot. I'm glad you love it. Mm. Our sons are great. Yes, I love this sweatshirt, but look what's happening. I'm going to have to get some of the things coming off. <laughs> so I have, let me put my notes down. What did you guys think of Karen's sale? Loved it. I did. I loved it. Hi, Audrey. Don Hill. Woo. You guys should be getting some notifications on that today. Angela Goodale is going to have a box as big as my house. Her box. Metaphorically. Girl, you got some things coming. I'm just adding everything to it. I keep opening it and throwing more stuff in. Opening it, throwing more straps in. <laughs> Throw more straps in. <laughs> Pixie! Robin! Hi! Mwah. She did have some good stuff. Man. You know, some of them really tested me. Oh, you guys, you know, that little coach that she has. <gasps> okay. So I've got. Show you guys here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because man, I suck. There they are. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> so we pulled two. So I figured we'll go through these two totes. Um, and then we can open up the floor. We can get more totes. You guys can look at some of my collection pieces. Um, you know how we go. We're in it to win it, man. I took a nap. Miss Philly's on. Because I'm home. Miss Philly is doing a lot of quick time. Whole tote. Yes. So, I don't know what's all in here. So, they're in here. They're packed. Um, they're not stuffed. They're not cleaned. Or anything like that. So, you're going to see them when I see them. But, my dogs. I do want to pay homage to... Gail Cutler, is she here yet? And I wanted to show everybody what my bestie Vicky sent me for Christmas. You guys. <gasps> Talk about the Holy Grail. Let's open her up. I cried and I cried and I cried. Look, you guys. 
And I cried, and I cried. Wow. That's love. She is my sister. Wow. How long did it be? Is it real, even if it is? It, it, we, I'm not sure. Um, but it is leather. It is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. So, not sure. Um, even if it's not, who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is beautiful. And uh, Gail Cutler sent over some things that I wanted to open up. Um, I don't know if she's here. That is cool. It's from, it looks very vintage. Fantasy fabric shoe and purses. 2000 it is. It's a little shoe, like a paperweight. It's got some weight to it. That is cute. Cute, cute. And it's got a little bag. Look, it's got a little bag. So beautiful. What a wonderful gift. Something breakable. And this is nice vase from Crystal France. Crystal? This is beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. And wow. Gail, if you're watching, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. God bless you all. Oh. Hey, could you two not do that now, please? And thank you. No, I don't need you up here, Sarah. No, Sarah. No, Sarah. No, Sarah. Okay. So, we're going to dive into the toady totes. But first, I wanted to show you. Sarah. No, sweetie. Get down. I still have two of these. And I'll honor the prize from last night. Sarah, get down. <laughs> Still have two of these. I've got them in black. Sit on your bed. Hmm? Sit on your bed. You're sitting on the dooney. Get off the dooney, Sarah. What's wrong with you? Sit on the Merlot. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sarah! <sighs> Thank you, Gail. Okay, Sarah. We love you too. Okay, all right, all right. Get down, baby. Yeah, she just got in the chat. Huh? <laughs> She's not listening. She's gonna sit right on top of me anyway, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, puppy kisses. She's good for those. And here she comes. <laughs> Her name is Sarah, and she's a sweetie. <gasps> Look at your pretty face. Everybody wants to see your pretty face. She can't be a first owner. And how old is she? She's 10 months now? Eight months. Eight months old. Look how big she is at eight months old. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I know. Okay. She should be nine months now. Nine months? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we don't want Sarah to show a bag. She's very interested in the Karomi. So, yeah. <laughs> very interested in the Karami. She would love nothing more than to give that a big giant kiss. You have a three-legged pity? I love pities. 
Okay. Speaking of pities, honey, don't let them do that. Okay. So in this first tote, I don't think anybody's going to be interested in this. I have an Obey shopping bag. I do. I remember buying this from Hadrian. So I can do my shopping. And it's still... <laughs> never used it. It went right into a tote. <laughs> it's got apples on it. Peaches. Are they peaches? Cherries. Peaches. From Obey. From what I understand, Obey is a pretty expensive brand. So, that's a nice tote. It's lined. And I remember getting it for the purposes of thrifting. But things started going crazy. Like, COVID crazy. And I never got a chance to use it. So the inside is lined in a linen. <laughs> now, Sarah thinks I'm a chew toy. I, I do believe that's the case. Because she is something else. So, if anybody needs an Obey shopping tote, $35. It's very thick, coated canvas. Obey is expensive. But it's been sitting in this tote. And I know I paid more for that when I bought it. do we have? Looks like I have. Ooh. Well, I have a beautiful floral Michael Kors pouch. Bracelet. Gold tone hardware. Inside has one, two, three, four, five, six card slots. An open pocket on the other side. This is a Michael Kors, not a Michael Michael Kors. Very pretty. Floral Michael Kors pouch. Yeah, I would go floral Michael Kors pouch. It's in beautiful condition. I remember buying this from Hadrian back in the day. Beautiful leather. So if you're interested in this, it's $45. MS called it. Woohoo, MS! This is beautiful. You are going to love it. Woo! That would fit real nice down right inside of Dooney Smith. <laughs> See, what else do we have? I do believe I received this bag back in the day. I think I got this from our very own Veronica. If this is the right one, it might be the night, be the right one. This is a vintage Michael Kors. Look at that. Now I'm pulling them out of the tote so they're not stuffed real good. Beautiful. So you see the corners? Just a corner. This is a Michael Kors hobo. I would say hobo. There's the straps. It's a gorgeous bag. I can pull the guts out. Woohoo! Let you guys see how beautiful it is inside and out. I love the older Michael Michael Core stuff. The leather is so much better. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, how old are they? Maybe we can send them some really cute distraction ones to keep them away because you've got some awesome things. <laughs> keep them away from your real high-end stuff. So it's really big. So there's your zipper and your slips. Michael Michael Kors. Had a little bit of stuffing in it. Buckle detail. 
This is the older one. If you're interested in this one, this one is 55. It is beautiful. Why it's in this tote, I don't know. Twenty-five to seven, seventeen. Oh, yeah. Well, then we can't really trick them. They're old enough <laughs> to, to know. <laughs> you can't wait to have kids. Oh, I had, you know, yeah. I was happy when they all grew up. I was an empty nester for about five minutes. <laughs> I think that's one of the hardest parts when your, your children get older and go. The the empty nest syndrome is real. It is absolutely real. Um, I mean, the, the quiet is deafening. You have to learn to cook. You have to learn to shop. You have to learn everything all over again. Um, I found myself just calling people at random just to chat. And I don't even like talking on the phone. Oh, it is a dangerous age, right? But, so, you love this purse, Karen? <laughs> so, it is real. And some of you who, you know, have their children older and gone to, you probably know, the first year, year and a half was super rough, and Jeremy's doing this to me. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> okay, something on the bottom of this one. What do we have next? This has got, I don't know what that is on the bottom of it. I don't have. I don't have. All I got here is this stuff. I don't know if it's going to take it off. It looks like, I don't know if it's. I don't know what's on the bottom of it. But it's coming off. I don't know if that's nail polish or what that is. I'll get it off. Okay. Hmm? Technically, I have now seven. But since the impending divorce, I don't get to see the other ones. So I get to see three. I can't count. Numbers are hard. Four. <laughs> Four. So, here I'm going to make this a clearance bag. I have an Etienne Nanier Agner, Agner, Agner bag. I will get off whatever that is. Not a problem. I got stuff for that. Handbag. Do I have this? So, it'll be an as is bag. Looks like it's got my, I have a little wear. This would be good for something to practice on, paint on. The leather is amazing. It's thick and soft and supple. So this bag, the Etanagne, is $20. We're going to clearance this bag. A-I-G-N-E-R bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a clearance, 20 bucks. I would use it for the leather or even spruce it up. Because the logo will polish up nice. Yeah. What else we got? I also have a Bagalini crossbody. There we go. This is beautiful. It's like a like a brownie, olive greeny. It's got card slots in the first one with the zipper pocket. Super beautiful. It doesn't look like anybody's ever carried this. The second one is just an open pocket here. And the front one is an open pocket. This is a beautiful bagalini, guys. Looks brand spanking new. Good grief. It is a crossbody. 
adjustable strap. Doesn't come off. It says Bagolini on the zipper pulls. So if you're interested in Bagolini, a nice travel bag, we'll go $15. $15. Same with the, if you're looking for the leather in that, Jeremy, let's change the Etna, the Anya bag to 15 as well. Let's do the clearance for 15. Okay, I'll put it on the paper. Okay. So if you're wanting the leather bag, if you're just wanting the leather, something to paint on, kick around. It's in beautiful shape. You can even use it. It's got a dark in there, but. There you go. Make that a clearance thing. Ooh, I forgot about this one. Do you guys like exotic leathers? I have a beautiful eel skin bag. This opens up. It's got suede, like a velvet suede on the inside. This is also gorgeous. I don't think anybody's ever carried this one either. Beautiful. This is all like a suede on the inside. There you go. You can remove the strap right here. They snap on and off. You can use it as a clutch. So that's pretty nice. It's got lots of room. But my phone case, my phone case will even fit right down in the front pocket. And I have a Note 20. It's a pretty big phone. Fits right in the front. So plenty of room. I think it'll be a beautiful clutch. If you're into the exotic leathers. Cool bag. So the eel skin bag. Crossbody clutch, it's twenty dollars. And winter time is upon us. I don't know if you guys remember this one. Hmm. You're gonna love that, Dee Dee. It is really cool, and it's just. Everybody should have an eel skin bag. I have the 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 python the python uh, python skin backpack that I got from Adrian. I got that, but that's a heavy booger. So this is a bag. This is a this is a Talbot's bag, and it's really soft. Man, what is the name of this fabric? Wool. Wool. Okay. Yeah. This is a woolly bag. Beautiful for winter. It is Talbot's. Beautiful leather strap. T-A-L-B-O-T-S. Gorgeous. So the straps are leather. Let's see if I can pull the insides out. Oh, of course not. So it has a zipper pocket, two open pockets. It's absolutely gorgeous on the inside. This too will be a $20 bag. If anybody's interested. Very wintry. Very, very wintry. Gorgeous. Needs to be stuffed up. Or smooshied. She is gorgeous. The strap is adjustable. So you can take it all the way down to a handbag if you want to. Is it $20? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Nice bag for the winter. Okay. Let's see. What else we got here? This one. Forget what the name of it is. I remember showing this before. So... 
if I remember correctly, I've seen these on eBay recently for about how much did I say the sequin bags were? Uh, it was 80 bucks for pre loved, yeah, in black. I've got it in blue, guys, in amazing condition. Look at that, it is a bright, bright blue. It's too small for me, or I'd be keeping it. It is awesome. It has a detachable crossbody. And it does have a beautiful strap. There's no cracking, no, none of that funny business that comes with some of those things. It's got a big old hang tag. It is very pretty. And here they come. And there they go. <laughs> hey, stop. Stop. Thank you. That'll last about two minutes. So I don't know why these are so expensive online. But if you're interested in this, I will go $50. Five zero. And there they go back outside. Michelle Peoples is calling the bag. Uh-oh. Oh, I do believe Michelle beat you to a DD. I'm sorry. It does sound like a stampede in here. And we finally, today, for the first time, the little one is getting along with the new one. Because we had to keep them separate. Congratulations. This is a beautiful bag. You're going to love, love, love that one. Okay. I do have a bigger gold coach bag I'm going to clearance. Um, I remember why I put this in the tote. Um, it is gold. It is coach. It has a little bit of wear. But it has reason why I put it in a tote. I meant to get to it. I can try to get it off. But it's right there. Look at that. See it? Some dirty rat. Right there. Ink pen. <laughs> it is very shiny. Very beautiful on the inside. Coach tote. Gold coach tote. We'll know what it is. So this is 17730. We got one right there. Shiny <laughs> Now we know I can get the ink mark off the inside. The outside with the metallic, the gold metallic, that scares me. I mean, if you want me to try, I will, but... Mm. So, like I said, they pop them back. They need to stop, you guys. Do you want to go outside? Because that's where you're going to be. Knock it off. Okay. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Shiny squirrel. <laughs> they did something. I, you know, if you even go anywhere near the fence outside, they all lose their minds. So if you're interested in the shiny gold coach, she's 45 tonight. Because she has a pin mark on in front of her. But she's a cool bag. MS is calling it. Okay. Another one here. These are pretty expensive online, you guys. But this one, the handle, I was debating whether I'd cut it off or not. It's not bad. But it's starting to crack on the stress points of the bag. This is a coach. It is cool. It is blue. It is awesome. That is the only thing wrong with this bag. It, it's missing whatever is supposed to be here. 
but it's it's thick it's got some weight to it so this is not a factory outlet bag and it is and i can't read it but it's faded the is it cream might be able to read it that way yeah now the patent leather on the front with the, the the pockets is in beautiful shape. It comes with not one, not two, but three hang tags. It's just the handle. Otherwise, the bag is perfect in every single way. Yeah. Yeah, I got little things for the zipper. But, you know, full disclosure. So, like I said, I was debating on whether cutting the handle off or putting a twilly on it. never know but it is really nice so if you're interested in this one like i said the only call out is is the handle and the little zipper i mean you can use it just whatever was on there probably a patent leather thingy that's no longer there but otherwise perfect so this is 40 dollars if anybody is interested else do we have oh if any of you have a gentleman in your life that you're looking for a nice bag for i have a beautiful nylon giorgio armani bag in gorgeous gorgeous condition look at that i remember buying this for Hadrian. To me, it seems very blokey, and that was my intention. The quality is as good as MZ Wallace, if not better. It is amazing. Gail is calling the Bagalini. Did you get her? Congratulations, Gail. That Bagalini looks brand new. Handles are perfect. It will need a crossbody strap. I don't know if I have a crossbody strap that... I got some that'll look really nice on it, but um, I don't know how manly they would be. I think the one that I put on the Smith tonight might be... I mean, it's unisex, don't get me wrong, but to me, it, you know, it's giving off more masculine vibes. There we go. There we go. I think that'll play off nice. There we go. So I will include that if anybody is interested. So in the front here. You just unbuckle it. And it has a great big old front pocket here. Super, super clean. Big old zip. It's a bright blue strap maybe that. Mm hmm If you get some the bright blue strap, maybe that put into a zip. Go with the back. Oh. The one with the, I have a couple bright blues, but yeah, so it has, it says here, Giorgio Armani Milano made in Italy. So this is authentic. It is the real deal. The geometric one. You know what? I think I know where that's sitting. Is she talking about with the, the coach or for the Giorgio Armani? Giorgio Money. Oh, it does have black in it. Oh, it does. You're talking about this one? Oh, yeah. That would look really nice. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Nice travel bag. Definitely. Now I did get this from Hadrian a while back. So we know it's in beautiful condition. And we know it's authentic. It's got a big old zippy. There's the inside. These are expensive. But the gentleman that I bought this bag for will no longer be in my life. So he don't get it. So I made sure I put it in the tote. It does. And then you could even do, you know, and if you like it, I mean, it doesn't have to be men's. But I bought it for a guy, so. But, <laughs> yeah, the sky's the limit. But I happen to agree wholeheartedly with, let's put it on. I agree wholeheartedly with, who said that? Was it Angela? I said put the blue one on there. Yeah. The blue. Geometric one. Yeah. She knows. She got it going on. No one buys this bag, I'll buy it. <laughs> Jeremy's loving this bag, too. <laughs> but I will include the strap. If anybody's interested, she is $80. I'm taking a $30 hit. I, I spent more than that with Hadrian to get it. So $80 bucks includes the strap. Gorgeous, gorgeous Giorgio Armani. Made in Italy. Yeah. Sandy D's calling the Armani. You want the strap, sweetie? We're going to include it. Miss Sandy D is calling it. And let me know, Sandy. I do have um, some... You know, more feminine type crossbodies too. That I have some dead stock. Let me know if you want me to throw one in there too, so you can use a bag. Too. You can have. You can have some girly. You can have some geometric. Oh, you wanted the strap. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It goes to the. It goes to the proud of the Armani. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're welcome, Sandy. <laughs> we got you, Angela. Not like that one. Not like that one. Yeah. There goes... They. I don't know why they're running. <laughs> Can you guys hear my dogs? It does sound like a herd of elephants in here. Okay, so that tote, you guys, is empty. Next tote. Ooh, Dee Dee Bean. You're going to be happy. All right, so if anybody's looking for a sling... I have a Kavu. Like yeah. I'm sorry, Angela. Angela, you have so much stuff coming to you. It's going to be like Christmas when it gets there. You know, you have so much stuff coming. You should probably, you should probably do an unboxing. <laughs> you should. I would. Good grief. So, I have a Kavu. Beautiful condition. Got the corded back. Beautiful sling. These are quite popular. Kavu. K-A-V-U. I could be saying it wrong. I'm not real familiar with these. I know that they're pretty popular. Um, not so, I, how I got it is a mystery. Mm -hmm. It's got the corded strap. Very lightweight. It is a beautiful, cleanable canvas. Yes, Dee Dee. She's something different. This part opens up. Has a zipper inside. Beautiful. I have forgotten that I have it, so I've never used it, guys. So, yeah. Go. Inside. So if anybody's interested in a Kavu, she's 20 bucks. Dee Dee Bean's calling number 12. 
This is cool. Me 13. Now, Davy caught 12. Number 12 was the black mile. Oh, number 12's gone. Davy, did you mean 13? Look, I'm going to drop the phone. I'm going to drop. Yeah, yeah, something. <laughs> she wants this. She wants the kavu. So we got seventy-three on the chat. Thirty-two thumbs up. Take those thumbs up, Dee Dee. I got something for you. What else do we have in here? <gasps> oh, you guys haven't seen this. One? Ooh. Look at this, Dooney. We got more Dooney. She said sorry, Jerry. All right. So where you would put the straps on this bag is the little hooks are hidden behind the straps. Beautiful leather. It looks woven, but it's not woven. It's just kind of embossed woven. <laughs> there There's the bottom, the feet. It is not a big tote. It's I would consider this a small. And here is the crossbody. So the crossbody is down in there. And it seems to be crossbody matches. Let's see what happened here. Hmm? Let's see what happened here. Is everyone saying he skipped 12? No, I didn't. <gasps> I didn't skip 12. <laughs> no, most people don't call him Jerry, but you know, Dee Dee, she's fine. Now, uh, what happened? I forgot to write 11 down in the notes. Oh, we forgot to write 11. You missed 11? Yeah. But 11, I put, I put 10, 12. So, so it is number 12. So it's number 12 on here, but it's supposed to be number You know 12. it's not alive until the numbers are messed up. I know, right? <laughs> so this side, this one, has the stripes on the inside. So we got one. Ooh, this pulled out. Let's do it. If I can turn it inside, I'm going to. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. K1042-5517. Dooney and Burke Inc. It's got some other taggy poos. It's got real thick fabric interior. This is a nice bag. Nice bag. So if you're interested in this bag, I will do 55. Here's the corners. I'm telling you I'm still too. It happens. Uh, so. Cindy with a Y is calling the Dooney. I would put small, well, woven, woven like Dooney tote, and with Miss Cindy. Woven. You're gonna love this bag. Ooh, and it smells amazing. It smells like it smells like leather, and it smells like you know those Bath and Body Works plugins. I used the linen and Sky or whatever in the plugins. It smells a little bit like that too. Smells very pretty. How much was it? Fifty-five. Okay. Oh, and here's a fun one, you guys. You haven't seen in a long time. I haven't pulled this one out since I was at the other house. It? Miss Cindy with a Y. Mickey Mouse tote. Little handbag. Peace sign on the side. Vegan leather, they say, so you know it's faux leather, so it is not real. He probably got his eyeball scratched right mm -hmm. there. Not used it. This is so neat. It is a neat bag, though. Look at that. Now, this would be cool for a 17-year-old. Well, I don't know. I don't know what 17-year-old girls like. I got all boys. Closure. What's that guy's name that's on your uh, YouTube video? The Dan guy. I love that guy. Okay. 
Love that. So we can post before the price is posted. Uh-oh. Oh, D said game on. <laughs> Sometimes there's a lag. So it does come with a crossbody still in there and wrapped up. Hmm? This? No, this is just a uh, Mickey Mouse Bio World bag. So this is, I think, with that Bio World, I think this is something you would pick up at TJ Maxx or something. Or Hot, Hot Topic, maybe. I'm not sure. It has one zipper pocket in there. So it's never been used. Being a vegan leather, I hate to be a snob, but being a vegan leather, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have carried it anyway. So super fun bag. So if anybody's interested in the Mickey Mouse, um, needs a home, brand new. That, that's neat. That I like right there. It still has the plastic on the Mickey Mouse. So the only call out I see, and that was probably for me stuffing it in a toad. You could probably even get it off. Let's try to get off. Um, ah, 45 for the Mickey Mouse. If anybody wants it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how much they are. I'm pulling 45 out of my nose. So I'm not entirely sure. So let's see if I can get that off of there. And I think it's a scratch. Darn it, I scratched it. Okay. Tara said it's from TJ Maxx. Yeah, she said she has the same bag. Well, Tara, I'm asking 45 for it. Let me know if I'm way out there. Because I have no idea. So. But it seems pretty nice. So. Ooh, next is a special one. I found this and was so excited. My, I wanted to check on it, but I don't come across these very often. This is like a bucket sling. She paid $30. Oh, okay, you guys. Uh, okay. 25 for Mickey Mouse then. I'm not trying to rip people off. <laughs> Go. <laughs> there is a strap inside, sweetie. Of course, the strap will stay in there. Oh, you want, do you want me to add a, a strap to it? It does come with one. I should add a strap to it. Yeah. So it comes with a strap. So if you can go to TJ Maxx and pick it up. Get it cheaper. You can get it for me from 25 Oh, you guys are bad. <laughs> well. Karen Gentry, we can't get them for the dollars is worth it. Yeah. But. But we want it done, so. We have a fun strap for it. Angel's Collie 15. A fun strap. Oh, well. Oh, look. It comes with one. Well, Angel just called 15, which is that, that bag. 
Anchor was called the Mickey Bag. Snipe! <laughs> Anyhow, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is a large bucket sling. So you can wear it as a backpack, a sling. Now this one, I just want to show you the leather on this one. This all oh, is this is amazing. Now I remember when I got this bag. Look at how the tops are. Isn't that cool? It's got wrapped rings. When I got this bag, it was an absolute fright. But you know when you when you find spectacular leather, you find spectacular leather. leather. <laughs> When you find it, you can spot it. There's nothing in the hallway with them. They're just in there. Yeah. Where? Does she have a block? Oh, come on, Diggy. Matilda, move. <laughs> She's blocking the doorway. He's mad. <laughs> come on, Diggy. Honey, will you please have Matilda move so he can come out or he's going to continue to whine. Matilda. Okay. She's being mean to him. So inside has a plaid interior. Now, uh, if anybody interested in it's blush, B L U S H E by Spiegel. Not entirely sure, but this is a nice Italian leather. Spiegel. Yeah. I think Spiegel. Wasn't Spiegel's like a department store? Is it E-E or E-A? B-L-U-S-H-E. That's how you spell Spiegel? No, it's, just, it's Blush by Spiegel's. And here's the inside. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But the leather is thick. It feels to me like big, thick cowhide. I remember looking it up and couldn't find much except for that they did Italian leathers. One of these is coming unwrapped because the, the little hooks are wrapped in leather. But I do have stuff I can fix that. It's just coming unwrapped. Here's the... Look at the straps. Big, thick leather. Look at this. Love the stitching. This is a really nice bag. I thought Spiegel's was like a department store. But I spotted this like a mile away. I was like, mmm, that is beautiful. It is big, thick and amazing and it's been in a tote <laughs> but yeah i put a little love and care in this before i packed it away remember this one maybe yeah i'm not entirely sure but it's it's beautiful guys beautiful it has its issues but if anybody's interested in this I'll sell it as is for $30. You will love it. I'm assuming vintage. But, wow. Beautiful. Yeah. It's just sitting in this tote, Robin. Oh, the days before Amazon. I remember the Sears catalogs and the Woolworths catalogs, but never a Spiegel. I got air bubbly things in there. Air pillows in there. So. Yeah, 
Angela Goodale? Yeah. yeah. You're going to love it. You are going to love it. Statement piece for sure. I wonder what this would cost you now. <laughs> Try to buy that retail. And this is interesting. If anybody's into the... I am not into the hide on hair thing. <sighs> I have a crossbody here. It's got hair. And I have... There's like a whip stitch cross on the front. It is leather. I don't even know why I have it. It's weird. Mm -hmm. So it's very unique. Beautiful crossbody. Now the crossbody is not removable or adjustable. So it is a true crossbody. So it zips all the way around. I got an air pillow in the top. Hey, stop. Pretty dark in there, looks. There we go. Just open in there. Now it does have. All right, it says genuine leather made in Colombia. So I don't know. It's really soft fur. So it's, I don't see a brand. But it's pretty neat. So if anybody is interested in the leather, hide on hair. I'd like a like a western motif type thing. Interested in that? I will do twenty dollars. Pretty different. Pretty different. Let me get some of these out of the way, these doggies. Okay, what else do we have in here? Hmm. All right. I have a a nine West bag. Not into it. It's a real pretty bag. Ten dollars. I'm sure it's faux leather. I think this is what was left over when I was doing the giveaways, when I was giving these away. So, brand new condition. If anybody wants it. Be a nice gift. Give to a teenager. <laughs> Ten bucks for the Nine West bag. It's nice. It's got a hang tag and everything. Just has no place here. Yeah. Yeah. So I do believe these were some of the giveaway bags, and this one was probably forgotten or left behind or whatever. But it's, those were brand news. Good night, Kristen. So if anybody wants me to add it, let me know. I'll add it to their, to their shit. Okay. I have... Another Dooney, and I do believe this one. Yep. Okay, so this one is, oh my goodness, I have a Clarence Dooney, guys. So the inside of this, I cleaned up the best I could. Um, So that down in the bottom there I thought was ink. I don't know if you can see it, but I thought was ink. It is not. It is, uh, I don't know if that's, I, it, it's, I think it's like a Sharpie marker or something. I couldn't get it off. Good night. Um, it's on in the corners of both of them. See it down there? You can see the black spots. It does have a big zipper in the middle. 
Okay, this one's buttoned. So this one beat me. So I couldn't get the inside to come clean. It does have your whatchamacallit for your keys. Go. Duny. So I mean the inside has been cleaned and I tried and it just beat me. I'm I can't get any more pretty than that. Nobody's gonna see inside your tote. It's beautiful. Okay. Neat stuff. Nice brown tote. So, if anybody is interested, I'm going to clearance this tote for $45. There's the corners. See, there's no corner wear. It's just, it beat me. I couldn't do it. You take it as is. It's beautiful leather. 45 buckaroonies. Needs a home. Ooh. Did Adric call it? <laughs> I don't blame you, girl. Oh, look at this. It is another one of those Nine West. Has a hang tag. So I had like 40 of these things at one point. So it's brand new. This is a Nine West bag. This one still has, yeah, there you go. So you can, this will be faux leather fabric. So again, $10 for the Nine West. Any resellers in here? You guys could really. I just don't, I don't deal with Nine West. It's pretty. I remember doing a promotion where I was giving them away, and a couple of them must have got past me. Oh, my goodness. You guys. Is that Nine West also turned bucks? Hmm? Is that Nine West also turned bucks? Yes. The cloth Nine West are 10 bucks. I don't have any stuff in for this one. <laughs> I said we'll sell what's in there. Oh, you guys. This is one of mine. This is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. Unique. Yeah. Two. Been in a tote for a long time. Yeah, this is one of my pieces. Let's see, show you the bottom here. Zippers on the front are functioning. Functioning pockets. There, let's see how deep they are. I got really big hands, but the pockets go all the way down. I love it. Love the hardware. Check that out. Isn't that neat? Here we go. Let's try to pull the inside out here for you. There's one side. There's Mark Jacobs. Made in Italy. This is a collection piece. Oh, beautiful. This smells like my air freshener. <laughs> it's 
smells like linen and sky. Huh. It's beautiful. Shoo! A little stun that was in there, but we're going to make good on it. Now, you guys, this is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. It's unique. It's not very big. It is small but mighty. It has got a magnetic closure. This is how you would get into the bag. You can add a crossbody to it, but why would you want to? It does fit real nice. The hardware. So if you're interested in this bag, this bag is $200. $200. Well, this is a Marc Jacobs collection piece, honey. These are no longer being made. Mine. Well, that was quick. <laughs> that is one heck of a deal. You are going to love it. <sighs> well, what do we got to do when beautiful bags go bye-bye? You had to kiss it goodbye. So it's been in a tote for a little bit. So I will condition her cry a little bit <laughs> but yeah this is unique you are not nobody else is going to have a mark jacob collection bag that looks like that okay, absolutely that unique so ladies what are you doing I heard it was just crash sound for a oh no there's a crash so that is everything in the two totes so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the floor jeremy offered to pull another tote or, if there's anything that you guys want to see, let me know. Da -da -da. Um, now is where the fun begins. Ooh, the cruiser crack. Yeah. Who won? Two people. Two people called it. Um, let me see. What? Do, um. Did I miss a bag? Oh, the Mark Jacobs collection. Oh. Let's pull on the shelf first. No, I see where you put number twenty-one black Mark Jacobs collection bag. I see Karen Gentry. Look up. Look up more? Right above, before I put it down, there's two more. One says Michelle Peoples Mind, Mark Jacob. Oh, how did she know? You still want it, Michelle? It's 200. Technically, though, Michelle called it before you put, the, put it in there, though. It's fine. It's up to you guys. Um, yes, I'll let those two decide. I don't, I don't want to upset anybody because I do have other Marc Jacobs collection bags. Michelle said yes. Okay. I got you, Karen. Don't you worry. Marc Jacobs collection is my specialty. So, I'm going to move these out of the way. They want me to pull another tote. So I'm going to go pull another toot. Pull another toot. <clears throat> okay. I'll be right back. Say hi to Jeremy if you want to. You wanna make that toot? Yeah, I yeah. Um Yeah, we have to follow the rules. Um, okay, so I'm I'm not sure about the lag, but what I see on my end is I see Jeremy put in the two hundred dollars. Um, he put it in there, and I seen. Um, seriously? In the basement. Hold on. 
So I seen Karen. I seen Karen come in there first, but I seen that uh, Michelle called it beforehand. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. Stop the fighting! You guys are like a bunch of toppers. You want to get in front of the camera and what? Get in front of the camera and I'll pull another toe. Okay. All right. Let me talk to him for a second. I'm gonna pull another toe. Yeah, talk to him real quick about. So what is this? What did you see on your end? So two before I made the post was Michelle. It was two before I even wrote it. It was before you posted? Yeah. Yeah, Michelle, honey, I'm sorry. We have to keep it fair. Yeah, we have to we have to wait until you see it in the chat or I call the price. The the lag. Jeremy has a bad lag. Um so when I call out the price, then it's okay. But technically we wait until you put it in the chat. So, I mean, if we follow in the rules, you know, Karen did call that. But never fear, Michelle. Like I said, I have Mark Jacob collection coming out my nose. So don't worry. I don't want to. Um, yeah, it should be based on what Jay posted, you know. Um, so, sorry, Michelle. But I do. I have a lot more. I mean. Good grief. If you guys want to see Mark Jacob collection, we could be here all night. So Karen Gentry's the one that got it? So, Karen? technically Karen won it. So which Karen? Which now Karen is big sweetie pie and saying let her have it. Um, but just know, Michelle, that um, Karen, I got you. Um, just know, Michelle, that um, you, you, you gotta wait. Um, Karen, it's very sweet of you. So, <clears throat> I'll show you something, Karen. You guys better settle down. That baby's not going to go to sleep when you guys are running around acting like toddlers and stuff. So Mark Jacobs collection and the same price point. I have other options too as well. That is nice of you, Karen. That's absolutely nice. So I have a hair on hide. Mark Jacobs collection piece. And I also have this one. Which I put a funky strap on. Oh. <laughs> so I do actually have, at that price point, I have three Mark Jacob collections. So that little one is is unique. These ones are a little bigger. The Juni. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull another tote. So Karen, which one would you like? They are both collection. They are both made in Italy. <laughs> She's such a sweetie pie.
<laughs> so, and even you, Michelle, same thing. You two can trade off bags. This one is available. This one is super cool. This one gets all kind of comments. So, I'm going to pull that tote. I'm going to pee. Pull that tote. They are still going on about the bag. Mm-hmm. So, ask Michelle if she wants the bag because Karen's not buying it. They keep going back and forth about who's going to get the bag or not. Because, yes, she feels bad for doing that. Karen gave it to Michelle. If you don't want it, I'll buy it. <laughs> Michelle, it is all yours. There's no good arguing with Miss Karen. She's she's stubborn like me. We won't do any good to argue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's all yours, Michelle. No worries. No worries. No hard feelings. We'll just wait until we call it out. But if anybody else is interested, I can show you these. I'm going to go grab another tote. Jeremy, you want to come say hi to the ladies? You want to show them this, this one? No, not really. No? You don't want to show them that one? Well, show them the fun one. Or the coach? You're more familiar with this one. You can show them this one. That one. I'm not familiar with that one. Just come say hi to the lady so I can get that coat. <laughs> I gotta climb. I know you gotta climb. <laughs> but you, you, you try selling me like I'm some kind of professional at this, and I'm not. So I guess I'll show the coach. Alrighty. So she wants me to show the coach. I have. No idea about the uh, the collection of bags over here, so she said I'm more comfortable with coach, so bear with me. So this, mom, is this canvas? Mm -hmm. I got it right? Yeah. All right. Are you sure? I guess. <laughs> Not very helpful. Canvas. Can't? Okay. Well, I got it right. So I'm assuming this is canvas. She said yes. And it don't look like it has any pockets in the front. It does look nice all around. Even though I'm taking it off camera. I'm sorry, ladies. So let's go ahead and show you the inside. Grab my flashlight because I actually know how to wield it. Yes, that was a shot at you, Mom. Hold on, I'm climbing. You're climbing. Oh. Actually, I think that one's a bit too bright to show you, ladies, because I'm seeing a reflection. Yeah, that one's a little better. So, on the inside, it says right here it's coach, it's authentic, or proof of authenticity. Got the one zipper up here. Turn it around. I'm trying not to flash the camera so I don't blind anybody. I'm sorry if I am. It's got the two pockets here. Either it be for a wallet or a phone. I'm assuming glasses maybe. Whatever you feel like putting in those pockets. I do see at the bottom that's a little dusty, like way down in there. Oh my god. That's heavy. <laughs> I told you if you needed me to grab it, and you I, said no, I got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Rather than that, a little bit of dust at the bottom, which can be taken out easily. 
Knock on okay. the, knock the flashlights, are you? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it. This is your channel. But I do kind of like how it has the uh, the old timey. I want to say carriages. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be a left mill you want. I, I think they're called carriages. <laughs> how much did you want? It? 45. Same as last night. I'm going to honor that. All right. So she said it's going to be same as last night. 45. Because it needs cleaned. Because it needs cleaned. Wait, what? <laughs> Stop it. The bag already sold. <laughs> this bag already sold? No, uh, apparently. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who got the bag? I paid 50 last night. Oh! Embarrassing. Okay, so that's Tabitha's bag you had me show. Oh, Tabitha! Beat me in my face. All right, so I'll let you let ha my mom have it, Tabitha. You deserve to have that right. <laughs> so go ahead and let her have it. All Ooh. right. Good Lord. Ooh. What did I pack in Tabitha's box? Uh-oh. Everything but that, apparently. Ooh, Tabitha, you almost got it wrong. Yeah, we're going to credit her five bucks, too, because I just called it for 45 because it needs clean. She bought it last night for 50. So we're going to credit her. Make sure you note that. Yeah, so I have to bust into Tabitha's box. <laughs> no, it's it's got the light. Yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Talk about me. Yeah, I don't know what's in your box now. All right. All right. I grabbed a whole nother tote. Did we get the uh, purse situation sorted? Are we all good? Everybody good? Yeah, you made me show I already sold purse. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know what's in her box. I've, after the live, we'll have to bust into it. Okay, so this has hats in it. Anybody want some hats? I don't know. I have a love Mickey Mouse and I have a... That's a Minnie Mouse. Oh, Minnie Mouse. And I have a... Under Armour hats here. So if anybody's interested in those. I don't know, five bucks. All right, what do I have here? Oh, that's nice. It's got a, probably a scuff now from being on top of the tote. Guys, this is a beautiful Emma Fox. This. Where is my Ziggy dog? Please move, honey. You can't lay right there. Okay. Absolutely. Dee Dee Bean called the the, yeah. the Minnie Mouse hat. She asked me how much it was, so I told her. Five. Five bucks. So, I wish I could stuff these, but I didn't know I was pulling another toad out. Okay. So, I have a beautiful white Emma Fox. It has probably a scuff here. Right here. Probably from being in the tote. In nice winter white. Beautiful leather. Is that a it's an Emma Fox. There we go. It's very Portland leather-esque. Inside, it's it's raw leather on the inside. Emma Fox logo. That is the little Boston Terrier. Doing all that snoring. <laughs> it's a tote bag. Mm -hmm. This is a tote bag. No, it's Raven. It's Raven. Yeah. 
It's Raven, the little one. Nope, that's not Sarah. That's Raven. That's a little Boston Terrier making all that noise. I can't sleep in the same room with those two dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I have to deal with it. So, yes, yeah, this is a beautiful Emma Fox. I had, I had a little cloth here that I can't seem to find now. Diggy Dog is probably laying on it because he's like right at my feces. Here it is. To see if I can't get that off of there. So that is the only blemish on the Emma Fox. So let's see if we can get that off. Ooh, it's coming off. Huh? It looks from this view. It looks like you're taking the print off. Uh, no. Oh, looky, guys. Looky, it come right off. This is a beautiful white Emma Fox tote. So if you're interested in the Emma Fox, she's sixty dollars, six zero. Beautiful leather. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Huh? I was sleeping and I broke the pen in her ear. <laughs> yeah. Dog yeah, she's yeah, she's really snoring and going for it. Okay, so the tag in here says 100% leather. Gorgeous. And she cleaned right up. What's the bottom? It reminds me, it's very Portland leather-esque. Did you get core from Walmart? Did I get core? No, I got my leather CPR. I don't have it at Walmart. I get the Cadillac from Walmart, but I get this from Marshalls. So I have um, Probably four more bottles of these. I don't see it every time I visit there. But when I do see it, I pick them up. So I have a lot of it. So, did you get that, Emma Fox? I didn't know the price. $60. 60 Mm-hmm. It looks brand new. It's beautiful. Sam Cheryl called the Emma Fox. You see it at Lowe's? I see I don't have a local Lowe's. I've got um, Home Depot. So you're going to love that Emma Fox bag. It is amazing. All right. This bag. Ooh, you guys are going to like this, but not like this. This one was... I paid way too much for it. I'm going to cut the tag off. I'm going to show you. It's supposed to be a project bag. Um, that was my price. So. This is in here. Mew Mew. This is a Mew Mew. A Mew Mew Mew. A Mew Mew Mew. mew. Beautiful bag. The problem with this bag is I have to figure out how to look at that. A pen exploded in there. Exploded. So this is like a microfiber in there. Now, most of it is ink. I did uh, make a new formula. I will try to get most of it out. And the outside of the bag is gorgeous. 
So it is a beautiful Mew Mew. Exiles. M-E-W. Huh? M-E-W. Nope. M-I-U, M-I-U. So it's a Mew Mew. There we go. It should be illegal. Um, now, what the issue I had with this bag was um, the edge coating. It's not. It, it's cracking in the stress points on the side, and I meant to try to fix it. But to be honest with you, I'm not going to have time. It is genuine. It's an authentic Mew Mew. You see what I paid for it. There's explodies inside. So it's going to be ridiculously expensive if I take it and have it fixed. Um, or I love how you can cinch it on the sides there too. There's little snappies here. You can cinch them. It is a zip top closure. Closure. Beautiful bag. But the inside. <laughs> I looked at the inside of that and went, are you kidding me? And then I thought, well, maybe with my new formula I can clean it up. So if you're looking for a beautiful Mew Mew, genuine authentic, as is, I will sell it for $150. If I clean it up and what have you, it'll go for a whole lot more than that. So, the edge coating, it'll be a labor of love, but it's fairly easy. I mean, you know, the plastic bit. I would almost, because of the cracking, take it off and just put more new edge coat on it. But otherwise, the outside, the leather is amazing. It is in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. Hmm? So, as is. So, this is one of those things when I say it looks like a scientific experiment or something exploded. With these bags, I quite mean it literally. So this, when I say something exploded or it's a scientific experiment, some of the bags I get literally look like that. Hmm. This is 150, right? It's 150 as is. I would probably, with me... Is it leather? Hmm? It's a leather. Absolute leather. Beautiful. I was just trying to figure out for those leather ladies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> MS called it. So the price would probably triple if I did it. But now the edge coating on the handles and everything is is beautiful. So So even if it was stained on the inside, you know, I will if you would like MS have a go at it um, with my concoction and see how we go before I ship it out. Um, let me know. If not, I'll let you. The edge coat, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at the edge coat. I can do it. I'm just not good at it. And this is a Mew Mew. So, you just kind of have a cobbler do that, man. It probably cost you 40 bucks. But other than that, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So congratulations. Well, hi, Nix. How are you? Oh, the Mark Jacobs bags, the tote bags is sold. Yeah. It's okay. Well, no problem, MS. You know, I will... 
I haven't tried my new concoction, so you never know. I'm excited. That, that, that will be the challenge. A challenge. Ah, I'm willing to accept this stuff. But no, the edge coating, it's not noticeable at all in any way. What a deal. And next. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we are in my project bag, you guys. I think we're in my project bag. Tote. So I have pin mark here. The hardware is significant. This is a B. Mikowski with a dust bag. So I do believe I bought this to paint. I was going to redo it like in a, uh, a hot pink or like a mauve because it already had the pink undertone. So this again will be another project bag. It's a beautiful bag. I like it. I like the hardware. It's significant. Beautiful. Huh? Coral. And it's not really coral. It's like a dusty pink. It's like a mauve. -y. So this is one of my project bags. We might have my project bag tote, guys. We might have to pick another one. <laughs> Inside is super clean. Looks beautiful. So I do believe this is what color the bag is supposed to be. Night, Sarah. Yeah, it's like a mauve, mauvey pink. I would put dusty pink. Yeah. B. Mikowski. M. A. C. K. O. W. S. K. Y. I have totes upon totes. And I have a lot of really high-end bags. Like, this was just... Dee, Dee this was just one example of a couple of my bags, my high-end bags that are in the project bags. Lots and lots of money. It was, it was so much that my bestie Vicky kind of barked at me. Like, you have got way too much money in here. Okay. So, this bag, the B. Mikowski as is, is twenty dollars as is beautiful inside um ooh, totes beautiful inside it's just it needs it needs a color freshy they don't make them anymore so i was gonna get real fun with it i was gonna make it like a dusty pink and a black and yeah she said good night jeremy okay totes let's see i don't even really have anything good night oh is anybody like um, you guys are going to like this. I have a little tote. This is a vintage Betsy Johnson in genuine leather. And it's sparkly. I originally got this from... What, what, what price is that, Mikowski? It's 25 as is. 25. Yeah, 25 as is. So this one came from, it is vintage, it is a Betsy Johnson, it is leather, and it's sparkly. And this came from, I do believe, Purse Curator. Check it out. <laughs> Here's the handle. Genuine leather. It is suede. We all know how I feel about suede. Here's the... It's in beautiful condition. It is not very big, as you guys can see. It's like a smaller messenger type deal. It's a beautiful bag. It's not missing any, any of the... Studs. It's not missing any of the crystals. It's in amazing condition. It's just suede. And my personal preference is, is I don't do too much suede. I've got them on my 
my birthday bags and things like that, but it's minimal suede. Inside, check it out. B. Mikowski, or not B. Mikowski, oh my goodness, Betsy Johnson. Then, of course, we now use that for lipsticks or what we like to love, and it'd say, put your mace in there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So it is vintage. It is in amazing condition. So if anybody is interested in the vintage Betsy Johnson, she's fifty bucks, five zero. This is a statement piece. Hand sanitizer. Yeah. But I think I'm going to pull out... With the hand sanitizer, though, I'd be worried about it ruining the, the liner. So... It's, <gasps> ah! I went somewhere! Am I back? <laughs> All right. Tote. Okay. I do have a tote here. Again, I do believe I got this for another color refresher, but it's nice. You're going to like this. If you like Coach, you're going to like this. And once again, I dropped it on the doggy. So, yeah. I sold 24. Okay. For, uh, he got it. Yeah, the pink yeah, I'm not going to hit that with alcohol. Not going to do that. It's beautiful. Okay. Man, I just love how we do these toe things, and I feel like I feel bad because. They're just not prepared. <laughs> Here we go. You asked for a tote. Here we go. I got some totes. I got a nice coach tote from Coach New York. Fun hang tags. Oh. No, some of these, huh? <laughs> This is like a, it's like a light red. Yeah, so I do believe some of these are. And this was in, I put this one up. Oh, I know. Because I wanted to make sure that the stitching was okay. So we had some loose stitching there. So I wanted to check on that. So, it is a zip top closure. And it had a spot on the bottom that I hadn't got to. So, yeah. I think these, if you guys don't want to see, What else we got in here? Oh. <laughs> this is not a project bag. Do you guys... I probably still have stuff in here. Because there's something hard... I do! Ah! <laughs> Good grief. Probably not selling that. Huh? Chemical reaction in there. This is the B. Mikowski that I carry. This is mine. Check her out. This bag. Ooh. This is a nice weapon bag. Nice B. Mikowski weapon bag. And I cannot believe I packed it in a tote and I still had stuff in it. <laughs> this is a gorgeous B. Mikowski. Check him out. <laughs> How much for the body spray? <laughs> I got that at um, I got that at Marshall's for like seven ninety nine. Why not sell the tote? What about the coach? Well, you know they wanted me to grab a different 
So because it's their project bags. So this one just needed. Yeah, it's it's pretty dirty on the inside. But this is not a factory outlet bag. It is a boutique bag. It's 19381. You can unsnap it to make it bigger. I think it needed a bit of a color refresh. Um, yeah. A little bit of color refresh. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, if you're interested in this one, you just need to make sure that doesn't come off anymore. So, I will do this for 50 bucks. These are expensive online. But... Oh, Karen wants it? Yeah. I don't think anybody else does, Karen. It, it's got, it needs too much work. But once it's cleaned up and you make sure this doesn't pop off, you could get probably three times that for that bag. That is an expensive one. My next project bag, you guys. Everyone's just like, congrats, Karen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Kathleen, you're interested in the Badger, Mikowski? <laughs> the one. Do you want to see it? It's a beautiful chocolate. It's big. It is big. It's a monster. It is the coolest looking B. Mikowski I've ever seen. So, I, you know. So the two front pockets here are giving me fits. Oh, here we go. Gotta be smarter than the zipper. Mm -hmm. It is big, it's thick, it is heavy. But it is the coolest B. McCoskey I've ever seen. So I held on to it. It's got the buckle detail. If it's in her price range, she'll get it. I will let her go for 55 and you get all the charms, everything I have on it. I'll clean it out. If you want me to leave the chemical reaction in there, I will. I think Cindy just sniped it. <gasps> Did Cindy snipe it? <laughs> so it's 55. She's unique, but I do need to, to clean her out, you guys, because, and she's heavy. So I'm telling you now. She's not a light bag. Hey, I just found my... There it is. I just found my hearing aids case. I couldn't find it for like six months. Good grief. Okay. The uh, Kenneth Cole reaction smells amazing. Oh my God, does it smell so... It smells so good. 55, yeah. Because she's used... Oh, the chemical reaction smells amazing. And <laughs> so, you gotta post the price and then call it after the price. Now, now call it again. Cause we gotta wait till Jeremy posts it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you guys know I was deaf? She's going deaf. She's not actually deaf. Yeah. I got hearing aids. That's why it sounds like I'm yelling at you all the time. I don't mean to. <laughs> Cindy called it again. You're going to love this. Uh, yeah. That is cool. She's. I've had her for a couple of years. She's got some weight to her. I'll clean her up. But as, as far as like the body spray, I got this one. $7.99 at uh, Marshall's. But if you guys see this, um, chemical reaction for her, I highly, highly recommend it. 
It's it's like fresh and clean. Um, it's nice. It's not overpowering. It lasts a long time. It's yeah. No, not the hearing aids. Just the case. The hearing aids are plugged in. I gotta take them for. <gasps> Remind me, I gotta drop them off tomorrow. I have one that needs to be repaired. So, next, you guys, I have. Why did I put this up? Okay. Oh, I could have fixed this myself. Good grief. Talk about being lazy. Okay. So, this started separating here. So, it's gonna need put back down. But this is. Karen Gentry says she's going to pass them by himself because people are being snotty. What's happening? Karen Gentry said people are getting snotty on here tonight. I think I'll pass on the sale tonight. We are supposed to be a family. No need to be out here. I'm missing it. She's talking about the people calling before I write it down. Oh. People are being snotty about it. I'm sorry, Karen. Give Angela the coach. Coach and tote. The coach tote? That's the coach she's talking about. That's the thing with her name on it. Talking about rules. I'm sorry, Karen. No, you are oh no. Wrong. Hey everybody. Yeah, wait till Jeremy posts the price and then you can call it. Those are the rules. It keeps it fair. Please play nice. I'm going to have to grab a tote that isn't. Next bag I have is my long chump. You were passing on the coach. If nobody needed it, I would take it. I said I would wait. Put Karen's name on the coach. The coach tote. Already have it done. Okay. All right. Make sure you tell her I did that though. Okay. Karen, you lovely, lovely woman. Honey, you don't have to do that. You've done enough. Yeah. This one has a little pouch. This is a long chomp, guys. In a beautiful teal color with silver trim. It started to come apart right here, but I do have stuff to... To put that back together. And I think that's the only reason why I had this put up. We'll send it a little bit. Huh? Send it a little bit. Long chomp. Long chomp. Uh huh. And it has a detachable little pouch. Yeah, let's not upset Miss Karen. go. Beautiful on the inside. There's your medallion. Long jump. It's a beautiful bag. 
Also here on the side, you do have your authenticity little tab. This one was made. Let me see here. Flip it over. Made in France. It's a beautiful tote. And it's a nice leather long top. I will fix the handle. Not a problem. I didn't realize that's all that was. Love the hang tag on it. So if you're interested in the long chomp, I will fix it and get it all gorgeous for you. 75. 75. Mm -hmm. We love you, Karen. Please don't go. Okay. I don't know if anybody would be interested in this. We'll see. It's all squeezed. Being in the bottom. She's squeezed. She's squishied. I do have a vintage coach. She's skished from being in the bottom of the bag. She's in a beautiful sea. Signature C um, canvas. Nice and thick. There is the handles. Love the braided detail. I do have a few Tories, but they are the crossbodies. I think I have two left. Oh, <laughs> I think Sam is calling something. Oh, uh, Sam is calling. So this one needs cleaning on the inside, which I will be happy to do. So Sam is calling the lunch. I think so. One three zero six six. Something is in there, so that's why that was in the tote. I'll be happy to clean that up. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Yeah. Get her stuffed up and reshaped. Beautiful vintage bag. So if I am reading this correctly, this bag was made in 2009. So it's 2009 vintage. No, 2000 and below. Okay. Almost vintage. There you go. It just feels like vintage. <laughs> like Can you see them? Yeah. Can I double check what, sweetie? What am I double checking? I'll be happy to double check. Double check if she's talking about the calling of the bag. Is that what she's double checking about? Oh. Uh -huh. I can double check right now. Sam Cheryl called the long champ first. CD Bean is exactly right after her. Who called it first? Sam. Yeah, Sam called it first. She called it right before you did, DD. Let me scroll up and find out. Do, 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 do. Ooh, right before you, Dee Dee. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have a few Tories. I have one hanging here. What else do I have? Yeah. So the vintage coach, I'd be happy to clean up for you. 50 bucks. Beautiful braid. No worries. Hers a little dirty. She will look beautiful before she comes to you. Ooh. Huh. 
Oh, Lord. I have another Marc Jacobs collection bag here that I didn't know was in a tote. That's how many I have. Let me take... Oh, my goodness. Let me take this out of here. This one will come with a dust bag. Crossbody. This is in a beautiful blue. Now, this one, I can see the issue. It's beautiful on the inside. It's got a gold plaque on the one side. Here we go. Mark Jacobs. This one is made in Italy. Um, beautiful in there. Now, the zipper in the front opens up here. So this is a navy blue satchel type bag. It's beautiful. Another Marc Jacob collection. So this one will need, and I forgot all about it and I meant to do it. The little screw here. It come off here. So I know that Joann's Fabrics and there's another place actually have that exact same one. So all we need to do is put one on there and glue it back in just like the other one. Otherwise, this bag is absolutely pristine. Dust bag. Beautiful, big, thick leather. Holds a ton because I just pulled all this paper out of it. Put this back in here. So this is a Marc Jacobs made in Italy. The leather is amazing on this bag. So if you like the satchel bags with the Italian leather, this would be the bag for you. Well, you can even look at this. Even the strap is significant. Check it out. This is very cute. Like I said, the only issue with this bag, and I forgot about it, or I had done it a long time ago, is I need to get a little replacement thingamajiggy. And I know Joanne Fabrics carries them. So if you're interested in this little bag, this will be $185. $185? $185. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very lightweight. It's very thick, beautiful leather. Beautiful blue. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hi, Cell. How are you? Ah. <laughs> so, all right. So they wanted me to pull yet another tote. So that was my, believe it or not, that was one of the fix-its and how this one got in there amazes me. Probably packing in a hurry. That's not supposed to be in that time. Well, you did pack that one in a hurry. <laughs> so, that. yeah. Because you wanted to get your stuff all cleaned up but and you just threw stuff anywhere. If I didn't pull out that one, then, you know, MS wouldn't have got a Mew Mew for 150 <laughs> there you go all right i will go tomorrow to the craft store and i will get a replacement thing and repair that mark jacobs bag if anybody is interested i will repair it that's it that's all it needs is a cute little thingy so, Tori Birches. Okay.
Let me see here. So, I think these are my last two Tory Birches. I don't think I have. Is it Tory Birch that one that looks like a cross with T's? Uh huh. Is it Tory Birch that, that cross with T's? Yes. Did you sell that giant black one? I did. Okay. So I just have the envelope crossbodies. <clears throat> and let's see here. I did this Mark Jacobs collection piece. Yeah. 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 That might give me serious separation anxiety. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Do not do it. But you told me yeah. to tell you. <clears throat> do you want me to grab another tote? Um, yeah, I think they want another tote. Alright, I'll grab another tote. Because I, I think I do, I think I have a white Tory Burch backpack. But that's, I know that that's in the refresher tote because the white needs to be refreshed. So, the Tory Burches that I have left, I have a bigger one. This bigger one with a chain. It can be a purse or a crossbody. And then I have the smaller envelope bag that has the cute little chain. So, these are what I have for Tory Burches. I don't, um, being in my area, I don't know what it is. For me to find littles and to find um wallets and things like that it is really hard to come by so i just had the one dooney kathleen in it uh the clearance dooney and that was the brown tote bag but he's bringing now this is an accordion style can wear it as a handbag or crossbody and this one's bigger this is a bigger one beautiful leather zipper pocket there it's got the Tory Burch logo right there I will have to get out the here, let me go. Mm. Did anything not sell last night? Um, I had a few. Dust bunnies are free. That's from the paper. There's the Tory Birch. There you go. This is a beautiful bag. A gold chain. Yeah. So there's one is a flap. Crossbody, big flap crossbody. The other one is an envelope style crossbody. I put black Tory Church bag with a gold chain crossbody. This is the accordion style one. So that is this Tory Birch. come across Tory Birches too often. So this one has a back flap. This is an envelope style. It's really cute. <laughs> there you go. Trying to get. Here we go. What was the one with the red patent handles? The red patent handles. The accordion one. From last night? Are you just showing them yourself? Yeah. Um, so let me know if anybody's interested in these.
So, I'm just showing them. I about wrote them down. It is. I like that smaller envelope. Envelope one. But then sometimes you need a bigger one. Because y'all know me. That one's still too small for you. Yeah. <laughs> so... How much for the envelope? If you're interested in this toy birch, I'll do 65 on her. Very clean, very nice, beautiful, perfect condition. She's gorgeous inside and out. Let's see. Well, I got a big phone. So here's my case. That'll fit in there. What else can I put in there? I don't think I have anything here that'll fit in there. That'll fit in there. With plenty of room. <laughs> my, uh, yeah. That fits in there. What else can we fit in there? My flashlight. <laughs> that fits in there. Second flashlight. Here we go. So it'll fit a lot. Okay. So, did you put the envelope in? 65? Well, I didn't know if you were selling it. Yeah. So, 65. Let Jeremy type it in. Let Jeremy type it in, then call it, okay, JY? There you go. Oh, it's okay, Cindy. There you go, JY. Congratulations. Make sure if you've not ordered from me before, please send me an email so I know I have your information so I can invoice you. So, I have, I say, any more coach, any more clearance? Hmm. I don't know about clearance. I think clearance is a little stoked you have in your office. But, well, there's a difference between clearance bags and project bags. Well, your project bags were great. Yeah, those were project. Um, check your, check your purse for me. It's Lady Badger's Bags at gmail.com. Everything's in the description box down below. You can just copy and paste it. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? How you doing? So the floor is open. So go ahead and request what you would like. So coaches, I do have, I'm thinking clearance bags. Did you hear that donkey snoring? Oh, yeah. Tara wants to know if you can show coach as well. Tara wants to know if you can show Coach. Hmm? Uh, Tara wanted to show coach as well. Any coaches? 
in clearance or just coaches in general? Okay. Okay. No worries. Coaches. Ask them if any of them would be DD says yes. DD Bean? Yeah. I do have the coach. Oh, the red patent one she was asking about. Oh. Okay. I found that bag. Thank you, ladies. All right, so I pulled three coaches. The one from last night, I think, the one she was talking about with the red patent. And then I pulled the rogue. And then I did pull clearance bags, ladies. I did do that. I did do that. I do that. Oh, this one's bigger. You know which one it is, Don. You've seen it a few times. So, the coach bags. Now, these are not clearance bags, guys. I'm sitting on the clearance bags. There we go. I'm surrounded. I got about 180 purses in here now. Okay, so somebody was asking about the red patent leather that I had on sale last night. Is this the one you're talking about? The one that needs clean? Or is this, was this the one that needs clean? Was this it? I'm wondering if this was it. Well, the other one's sold. I did have a red patent, the crimson. Um, that sold. The really super cool one, with the buckles. That was me. How much was that? Where's my notes? Okay, this one was fifty dollars. Five oh. My notes from last night. <laughs> yes. All right. So type it in, Jeremy. So that she can call it. All right, so Beautiful. With Add a little wear. Dirty. I'm going to clean that up. But that's, yeah, that's why it was 50. <clears throat> I was wondering if that was the bag you were talking about. Then I thought, well, patent handles. Yeah, that was the one from last night. That's she was asking about. So the next two bags, these are not clearance bags. One is smaller than the other. But I have these two. Now this is a small, this is a Dawn bag. This is a little tiny, tiny Dawn bag. <laughs> she likes the small ones. She does. Vicky gives her a hard time all the time. But this bag is really nice. Like new condition. It's expensive little thing. All right. But this is your Jess. And it's like a, this is like a slate gray. Beautiful. Tap inside the bottom. For the red handled one. Okay. Yeah. This is beautiful. Okay. So this one is a boutique bag. 
It is number 18619. I don't think anybody has ever used this. I have not. I would be confident in saying this is new without tags. It still has the care instructions and stuff inside it. This is a gorgeous, 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 holy crap bag. It's pretty. It's very pretty. I mean, it doesn't do it any justice online. Look at that. So, being a boutique bag, gorgeous, like new condition. If you are interested in this bag, this bag is $70. Absolutely worth it. This is not one of the factory outlet ones. There we go. With this or how you would clean your signature as your card? Oh, MS, you are going to love this bag. Holy love of gosh. Love it. Lucky, lucky girl. That is amazing. So, what I would use with this one is good old-fashioned... Um, don't get the oxy clean. Get good old fashioned upholstery cleaner. Do not use their brush. You will tear your fabric apart. Um, if you want tomorrow, Kathleen, I do have some stuff here. Because the corners are starting to wear, I would take special care. Um, I would use, I have a horsehair brush that's very, very soft that I would use on the fragile corners as to not damage. I will do a video if you want and show you how I do that. Um, Karen's like, I'm just soaking water. <laughs> I don't know about that, especially with the leather. Maybe. Maybe. Dawn. Depending on the type of dawn, I would say, because some dawn will probably eat the freaking color off that. No. You sure? Yeah. Just yeah. Maybe regular dawn, but there's that three, four, and five time strength stuff. Oh. <laughs> Use regular dawn. Just so, not the super strength ones. The next coach bag that I have, I'm running out of coaches, I think, mm -hmm. is the Op, op Art. Similar style to the one MS just got, but not the same. This one has leather handles. It's got a little bit of the edge coat right there starting to come loose. That should be an easy, quick fix. I'm just so bad at it. I don't know if I just don't have a good aim or what. There we go. Beautiful. This one is not a factory outlet bag. This is one six three six six. It has the three compartments. This side has your two open pockets. It has a middle zipper pocket. This side has your creed and zipper. Nice blue interior. Donna's wanting to know about tub of towels that work for Yeah, um, the tub of towels is good to remove, um, it can remove a little bit of ink, but it'll cause the ink to bloom. 
Um, with the fragile, it's good for some things. I wouldn't put it on. Do not put it in a washing machine. Ah, uh, uh, no, Kathleen. I would not put that in a washing machine. That's patent leather, girl. I'm gonna clean that before I send it to you. You are scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> um, the tub of towels is good. But I find with some of the Coach Jacquard um, or some of the Michael Kors, some of the, the softer, like the op art, you can clean it. And it may take off whatever you have there, but it's going to leave like a wet ring. Um, I The tub of towels is fantastic for inside your bag. I Unless your color test outside, okay. But tub of towels, I, 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 I just... Mm. I wouldn't use it on this fabric. Some people do. Uh, it's fine for the inside. I just err on the side of caution on the outside, if that makes any sense. I do do. I do use tub of towels, too. I use them on sneakers. I use it on the inside first for the first application when it comes to ink. Um... But, like, all right, have a look at MS's bag here. I wouldn't risk trying to clean that with tub of towels. I, I just, I wouldn't. Um, I've had good luck with it before, but I've also had bad luck with it, too. Because if you're not careful, tub of towels will lift color. And sometimes... It can eat a little bit through some of that fabric. You, <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dead set in my ways. Like an old fart. I don't know. You're right, Kathleen. No, but, don't huh? Like, well, you know I'm a novice. You can get it. I, you can get it at Amazon. I get mine at um, Home Depot. So anyway, if anybody's interested in this bag, this bag's 50. Five zero. Because it's going to need a little edge coat repair. But other than that. Not even edge coat repair. A little edge coat reinforcement. Is off. Otherwise it's it's okay. Let's see. It's pretty. <laughs> well you can't drink your water in grandma's bed. I don't recommend that. <laughs> Why are you still up? Mm, yes, oh, I have a beautiful purse that you run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would just err on the side of caution. You know. I mm, tub of towels is great. <laughs> I'll use it for a stubborn pen mark, like on the outside of the leather, depending on what leather it is. Don't use it on new buck or suede, obviously. But, I mean, it can help. Um, if it's a light pen mark that you just did, it, you know, you noticed it in your purse, if you get it right away, tub of towels will take it right off. But I don't do it only on the inside. I don't, I just don't suggest it on the outside of the bag. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do some clearance then while we're waiting on her. Yeah, yeah. He, want, he wants to drink a water, but he wants to have it on Grandma's bed. You're right! <laughs> yes, I have all kind of... These ones I showed you the other day, like... Did you want to do a bundle box like we did that one night? I might, this, this might be a different bag. I think this is a different bag. This is a whole different bag. I have two of these. <laughs> I have two of these. This one was hanging on the purse wall. Because the other one I got... Yeah, the other one I got... Um, 
the strap. You guys remember the strap? But this strap here is not broken. Not necessarily clearance bags, you guys. They're bags that I've had forever. So we'll... <laughs> Dee Dee got pee pee. <laughs> Dee Dee got pee pee. This one is beautiful, beautiful leather. This is one of the older Michael Kors when they did the really nice leather zip top closures and that. It just needs a color refresh. Big, thick, soft leather. You don't make them like this anymore. This is an old school. <laughs> so I got two Michael Kors here. I have, I forget what this is called. Oh, Rebecca Minkoff. With the bottoms, nice weapon bag. I have the leather Steve Madden collection, Steve by Steve Madden. Genuine leather and purple. Not well, it's more like an eggplant. This is a cool bag. So this is one of his collection pieces. And then I have another. This is a Rebecca Minkoff. Leather tote with the studs on the side. So that's what I had that I can heavily discount. These are bags that I've had for a long time that need a home. Mm -hmm. Rebecca. There's two Minkoffs. How much for the one with the studs? Are you talking about the tote? Okay, this one is heavily discounted because it's missing its closure right here. Bag's not damaged. It's beautiful. Just missing its closure, as you can see. So I do believe. Let's see. It's 13 by 11 by five and a half. So if you would like this, I will send it out. 30 bucks. Does it need a closure? Yeah. Rebecca Minka, black studded bag. This is a cool bag. Beautiful leather. 30. Correct. Yep, three zero. You can actually add a closure and then it'd be done. <laughs> so JY, JY called it right before you dawn. I'm sorry. But the other Rebecca Minkoff. It has, it's got a heavy chain. This is the classic crossbody with the zippies. These bottom two, I do believe, are, yeah, just for show. It's got the studs on the bottom. Yeah, Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. See in there? <laughs> Same deal. You know, if anybody's interested in this, it's 30. Beautiful leather has all its tassels. This is a weapon bag. Psh, psh, weapon.
<laughs> so the next one I have is the one I was talking about. This one will open up to even get even bigger. It's a beautiful eggplant color. So this is actually a Stephen by Steve Madden. 100% genuine cow leather. Oh, you're saying it was eggplant? Hmm? That was eggplant? Yeah. It's like an eggplant color. Beautiful studs. Steve Madden. Hmm? This is a Steven by Steve Madden. Genuine leather. It is 14 by 10 by 4. This is the inside. It is real nice. This is a Steven by Steve Madden. Let's see here. There's the tag. There's another tag. There we go. I don't know if you can read it. 100% leather. Oh, I'm trying to. There it is. Leather. There you go. So it's not your normal Steve Madden. But we're going to discount this. Last time I showed this bag, I showed it for $60. We're going to drop $10 off of it. It's $50 today. Beautiful eggplant leather bag. So much fun. It's very Rebecca Minkoff-esque. So the fun thing is, this one, well, maybe they don't open it. Maybe I lied. I thought it opened up and got wider. No, they're just different. Sure. Studs in the back. Beautiful maybe, bag. I mean, it probably does open up, but it takes a lot of effort. Mm. There you go. Mm-hmm. So talking about the number 32? You're talking about the coach number 32? The, the red animals. Okay. She wants to swappy swap. So... Oh, okay. So this is still available, guys. This is what you're swapping. So she's gonna get. She's gonna get the Steve Madden, the Steve Madden collection. So this is still available if anybody's interested. <laughs> it it took me a lot of trial and error. If you guys remember, if you guys started following me when I when I first started. I was all about the leather because everything else scared the absolute crap out of me. So, ah, is Dee Dee back yet? Yes, okay. Okay. This Michael Kors is an old school. It needs a color refresher. Because it's got some, some color loss on it. Otherwise, it's fine. The MK is still beautiful. Yeah. So this is one of the old school ones. They don't make them like this anymore. The big pebbled leather. Um, gold tone hardware is still gorgeous. It's still just a wonderful bag. So this is on clearance because somebody will have to paint it or refresh it. So $30. They don't make us like this anymore. Beautiful. Yeah, but this is this is an old Steve Madden to or Steve Madden, 
stuff the man not a brain michael kors top the leather see the leather how beautiful it is you're just not getting that quality anymore i hate to say oh then we have a g card boop, boop, boop. it's got a nice little in the front and it's got inside down inside there it has places for um credit cards so it's got one two three four five six credit card slots down in there see that? Card. yeah this is a smaller tote bag q-u-a-r-d -A 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 there's the feetsies The handles are in excellent condition. So I do have another one of these that I think I put in a bundle because one of the strap it broke. I thought it was this one. It's not this one. Okay. Take more stuffing out here. So you've got your three sections. So this section has your two open pockets. Super clean and beautiful. The other side has your micro, my micro course tag, your zipper, and two more slippies. Then you have a zippy in the middle. Big old pocket. There you go. There, is. there we go. There you go. So if you're interested in this tote, if you want something lightweight and small in a micro course, I'm discounting this one. To forty-five dollars. Forty-five. Yeah, small Michael Kors toady tote. For how much? Thirty. Forty-five. Mm -hmm. Very lightweight. Beautiful. It'll match anything, go with anything. Yeah. So if you're looking for something like that. It was beautiful. Ow. Suede and I don't get along, no. <laughs> Okay. Uh, how do you say that? Pies resistance, Kial resistance, pièce de resistance. Pièce de resistance. Well, whatever. The result. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah some reasons. I put the strap on it myself, guys. It does come with its own straps. But there we go. There we have things pulled up. Those dogs have to bark at everybody. Have to growl at everybody. Really want my neighbor next door getting out of the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Go. The inside is suede. So here's the handles. Comes with a couple sets of handles. But they are shoulder strap handles. So I did add. Tabitha has to put the kiss lock on the inside. Yes, it does. Miss Tabitha. So we have a suede. 
It does. There is the kiss lock. Zipper pocket. Super clean on the inside. And it's, it is RG-20315. Genuine article. Here's your kiss lock. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful bag. So it has... Yeah, it comes with the strappies. You can get two of those in there. But I happen to like the crossbody. So I did add what I thought would look beautiful. With what kind of bag is it? What size is it? A bigger one. Um, where's my tape measure? I'm going to measure it. Rogue. Mm -hmm. So this bag is ten and a half tall by twelve wide by four deep. So I'm not sure what the and it has a kiss lock, correct? Yes, has a kiss lock. So two zero three one five. You guys would know better than me. says 1941 right there it's a genuine article guys she is a beaut beautiful beautiful road bag there you go She's not a small bag, guys. I mean, this is my head. This is the bag. She's not a smaller one, and she has some weight to her. She's heavy. Okay? Gorgeous. So, if you're interested in the Coach Rogue, I had sold it one time for $500. i am going to keep it there. I'm going to keep it at $5. She's worth every penny. $500. Mm -hmm. That's cute. A little case lock. <laughs> so. This is my head. This is the bear. <laughs> yeah, this is the bigger rogue. And it does have some weight to it, Dee For sure. Absolutely for sure. There's nothing in it. It's heavy. For sure, my friend. For sure. I do have... A smaller coach in my favorite, favorite style. Oh, that's fine. Absolutely well. As soon as the live's over, if I try to do it now, it's going to cut everybody off. Good night, Kathleen. Good night, good night. Do you guys want to see anything else? Love this world. 
I love how the handles fold down in here. <laughs> it's my head. This is a giant rope. This is a big old rope. Did you guys see this? Show that earlier. Isn't that pretty? It's got hair on it. <laughs> it's got hair on it, ladies. This is a big Mark Jacobs collection bag. <laughs> this bag? I don't have any good wallets at the moment. I mean, I do. I have, I still have the Gucci, but that's a fixer-upper. And I forgot to send that. I was going to send that to Robin Brown. It was the one she said challenge accepted. And then I forgot to send it. I found it today. So you guys are looking for smaller bags? You guys have seen it. The little dreamer. The little black one. Okay. I'm going to tinkle though. Dreamer, dreamer, dreamer. Robin Brown's like, rehab it for you. Yeah, well, she, you know, we were teasing one night, and she said, challenge accepted. She was going to fix it up. Then I turned around and forgot. I have another Michael Kors collection here. Or not Michael Kors collection. Another Marc Jacobs collection. I have a lot of Marc Jacobs collection. And look, I think about 185 purses I have. <laughs> Sports things that likes to write up. Too much information. <laughs> this is one of the small. Did you know I have a Chanel bag? Jeremy will have to get it. Because it's up there. The one with the... It's a pink thing on it. I know what it is. The Chanel tote. And my other Michael Kors collection bag, guys, that I have is the quilted with the chain. Can you get it? So I love, love, love the dreamers are the best coaches in the world. I the dreamers. So this is the smaller dreamer. Tara, this bag is everything. Um it's too small for me. 
Oops. It is brand new with tags. $495. I do have the strap. So this one it is so small. You read it. That's your creed right in there. This is a baby dream. <laughs> there you go. Still small. I'll have to have Jeremy read it for you guys. Then it has a middle zip, which has the coach cards in it still. So this is not a big bag. It does have the suede front. I absolutely love the Dreamer collection. Um, this one looks a little bit different. This is part of the Dreamer collection, but it's not my favorite style. Um, you know, I like the styles of my, of my birthday bag. And then Karen had one that I had to snipe and drool and, and just kiss the floor. So this one's more of a box style. This is more of like... Yeah. yeah. But it is a dreamer. So not really feeling this one too much. So it, I've been keeping, you know, keeping it put up because, you know, she's a dreamer. So what do I do with the tag? Darn, I lost the tag. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So you know how it is. But she's a beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. Yeah. So this is beautiful. So if you're interested in this dreamer, I'll let her go for 200. Coach dreamer. Small black coach dreamer. She is new with tags. All right, let's see. And you wanted to see if I had a Chanel. You do have a Chanel. So this is a smaller tote. And it has all its bits and bobs. Let's see. Comes with certificate of authenticity. Chanel C H A N E L. C H A N E L. Has all its paperwork. It's a tote. Hmm? It's a tote. Yeah, it's a small tote. And it will come with gold chain. So the inside of the bag. You've got your Chanel. 
Beautiful. There you go. Yes, it's a small tote. Very lightweight. Very small. Beautiful. 100% authentic. It will come with all its papers. Like I said, authenticity cards. All its paperwork that comes with it. It's got all kind of goodies. And more goodies and goodies. Lots of goodies. All the good stuff back in there. Yeah, it's small. <laughs> she is beautiful. So if anybody's interested in that, you can email me. Love the stitching. So that is my Chanel. Yeah, they can email me on that one. <laughs> Santa should have brought you that for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You guys, I did get um, Anne's Alma bag, and I cannot wait to get a hold of it and rehab it. I have been doing a lot of research, a lot of practicing, and um, rehabbing and restoring Louis Vuittons. It's pretty excited. I do have a new one in my collection. If you guys want to see, I got a new Louis. Um, and then, of course, I have my multicolored one with the rose gold hardware. That's really cool. So, email me if you guys are interested in that. Huh? Oh, I won't. I'm going to show it. This is my baby. Still got her. Ha <laughs> ha! Coolest Louis Vuitton ever. Right there. This is my new one. She's in the, in the middle of a rehab. I gave her the first round of conditioning and then put her on the shelf to dry. So, because she's starting to crack along the, along there, but that doesn't bother me none. I got her way over stuff because she was really, really, really misshapen when I got her. So I got her way over stuffed. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. So tore up from the floor up it was, but look at her now. She's a work in progress. But the patina is now looking a whole lot better. It was full of watermarks and dark spots. So those are pretty much gone. I'm still working on the handles. They are 100% better than what they were. Whoops, now I got them all folded up. <laughs> So. so if you guys thought that, you know, Dawn's Alma looked a little tiny bit scary, you should have seen this one when I got it. The inside, though, is pretty cool. That's a work in progress, but it's pretty nice. I got it pretty good. See? It's looking pretty. Don wants to know what you use to clean the handles. Huh? Don wants to know what you use to clean the handles. What I use to clean the handles? Cool. Well, I took the advice of that leather guy. And I took a non-alcohol um, baby wipe from the middle of the box where it's not too wet but yet not too dry. A little bit of saddle salt. And that will lift off all the dirt, get it wet. Then you go over it again after you do that with the wipe one or two more times. Then you got to put it up and don't touch it and don't mess with it or anything and let it completely dry so it has lightened it up a bit um, so now with the canvas to keep it from cracking you guys are never ever gonna believe the trick that I learned that worked nicely this was so dry I was afraid to move it now look how soft and supple it is now so you take like cut up an old white cotton t-shirt, a soft one. Um, Lubriderm hand lotion. We'll clean it and we'll soften the canvas so it doesn't crack and peel and protect it. And I mean, what it's done, I mean, you want to go a little bit with it because it'll leave a residue. Um, so you just want to Keep going, and you're going to get crap on your thing, and you just keep moving it to the white part. You keep moving it. It's a labor of love that way. But this is how it's looking after one application, and I'm not kidding. Now, this bag was disgusting when I got it. So. Hello, Veronica. Hey, Veronica. How are you? So, that this is where we're at um, with that. So, this will get another treatment. But this was almost black and full of water stains. So, it's a labor of love. Oh, it's that bad. Mm-hmm. I got fucking done. So, yeah. So, I couldn't believe it. But it has to be the regular Lubriderm, guys. It don't get anything with the scents or anything like that. Um, yeah. So that's what I did. And it's working. And, you know, I'm watching this guy. And I'm, I'm learning a lot. So it's now the leather here is more supple. So I'm noticing that it's not cracking anymore. I can't do anything about what's there. But it, it just looks a lot better. Hmm. Um. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not done with it yet, but I probably will. Yeah. I mean, I do have, I could, I do have this one. I mean, this is my, this is mine. <laughs> so, yeah. Then I do have the Alma coming. Yeah. But yeah, probably, you guys know me. I don't think I need to overstuff it anymore. It's got its shape back. That worked pretty nicely. So. But I'm pretty proud of myself. Should have stuffed it more there. So, using that method, there it stopped. You know how it starts to crack and peel on the corners and stuff? It stopped that. Yeah. But he deconstructs and puts back together. This is a different gentleman. I will, um, I think he's a German guy. I will find it. And then if you guys want, I will, I will post it. So, there you go. So, I'll either sell this one, or I will sell my Speedy. So. Yeah, but this one, this is the most fun, you guys. I mean, come on. <laughs> So, this one in my birthday bag, I think that I will keep forever. So. Ah. so. <laughs> You're still struggling with what, honey? Oh, my goodness. Veronica, are you all right? Jeez, you hear her snoring. Is there anything else you guys want to see? Let me put these up. You'll have to put the Chanel back up for me. Absolutely. I have a sticker on me. <laughs> what did you say if it's absolutely? Karen said, keep me in mind. I said, absolutely. I'm going to move some purses so that I can get back to the couch. I don't want to climb. Alright. Angela asked for the new strap plug. I'm sorry, what? Angela asked for the new strap plug. Uh, yeah, I didn't go through them today, though. <clears throat> so, yeah. Tell her if she wants, I will... Oh, I'll tell her myself. I'm right here. If you want, I will email you, Angela. The straps that I have left, I do believe I posted. And they're in um, the recorded live, or the recorded video. Those have the numbers of the straps that I have left. So just let me know. Ow. I hit my knee. Good night, Dawn. Dawn going night-night. All right, you're welcome. Good night. Oh, you're welcome. You guys want to see my birthday bag? Have you guys seen that? It showed off not long ago. Huh? It showed off not long ago. 
My birthday bag? No, I didn't. No way, man. All right. All right. Was anybody... Uh-oh. What did this come out of? That came out of the little... The little, little black dreamer, didn't it? Okay. All right. Let me grab. This is the birthday bag. Hold up. Yeah. This is the birthday bag. See the little bit differences in the styles with that little black one? I'm more of a zippy girl, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, I move into it around my birthday. <laughs> it's the birthday bag. So. I know, Karen. So that's the differences. <laughs> yes. So this is the, my favorite style of the Dreamer. I go ga ga goo goo. The other one is a little man. The flappy's okay, but hey, beautiful. And you know, people will call me weird, but I would take my birthday bag Dreamer over the Rogue. Any day of the week. Does that make me crazy? I wonder if that makes me crazy. <laughs> Is Karen agreeing or is she saying yes, I'm crazy? <laughs> Love it. It is, isn't it? Love it. I actually, a little backstory. I sold that bag once out of necessity. I had something come up and I needed to sell it. It sold quickly. After I took care of my affairs, I had separation anxiety so bad. Um, I had another um, reseller reach out to me, and they had the same bag and sold it to me. <laughs> so I got my birthday bag back. Happy New Year. <laughs> they are great. Oh, thank you, Veronica. You know, you like what you like, you know. I'm just not a fan of the Rogue like this. So, not a huge fan. <laughs> not a problem. But unless you guys want to see anything... So if anybody's interested in the Chanel, go ahead and email me. If you're interested in the Rogue, um, that's what I'm asking for. But go ahead and email me. Um, email me. Please email about your purchases. Okay, Tabitha. I can do that after live. It's not a big deal. Because I have kept you guys on here for like three and a half hours. So, unless there's anything else you want to see, I'm happy to show you. Somebody did ask if I was willing to sell um, my new Kate Spade crossbody. 
next sale? Well, I'm on vacation, guys, until um, the 2nd of January. I actually have a few days off. So I can come on whenever you guys want me to. I know that um, New Year's Eve, Hadron has his late at night. So I won't do that. Um, I can do more and tell you about the road game show, too. It's a bigger one. It is the old school one with the kiss lock. Here it is, dear. I'm going to pull the handles out. There she is. She's black with the stitching. She is the bigger one. They're laughing because I say this is my head. This is the <laughs> this is the bigger rogue. In amazing condition for her age. It does come with the straps, but they come with the two shoulder straps. I do have that. Nice to see you, Linda. Late owl. <laughs> oh, that's right. Are you two hours behind us? Yeah. There's one. It's in suede. In the middle, it has the double zip. I put a guitar strap in there because I like a crossbody. There is the inside. There is the kiss lock. Everybody's asking about. She's the real deal. Old school original. And her, you can look her up. It's RG-203-15. It has some weight to it. So there she is. There's my beautiful rogue. In all her glory. Hmm? Oh, is it heavy? It has some weight to it. It's not as heavy as, say, one of uh, the regular Dooney satchels. Um, but it's heavier than probably some of the bags that you carry. It does have some weight. Not going to lie. I'm holding it like this. There's nothing in it. My arm will get tired here in a second. So it does have some weight. It's big, thick leather. This is one of the old school ones, honey. So the leather, it's, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. No big deal. Absolutely. So I got straps picked out for it. You need to know what you're getting. No big deal. I would want somebody to be completely honest with me, you know. <laughs> I would rather know than not know and be surprised. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I think she does. I don't remember that one selling. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so if everybody is done looking. Oh. Look what Vicky sent for Christmas. Oh. So next sale. What is today? Today is twenty seventh. And today is Wednesday. Well, as we started, it was Wednesday. Now it's Thursday. Thursday. Do you guys want to do Friday? Did you see it? So, Friday? Since, all right, so we started Wednesday night. So, you guys want to do Friday? And Gail Cutler sent this. It is... Garanti plus Cristal France. But yeah, we can come on Friday. You guys want to do a pajama party? Or do you want me to come on a little earlier in the day? Earlier in the night? Okay, absolutely. Thank you, Gail. I showed them all this too. Cutest things ever. So cute. I love them so much. Thank you. I had to show them off. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been almost four hours. I will let you go. And it'll take me a few minutes when this uploads. It's going to upload in private. I don't know why it does that. But we'll go through and I'll put everything that's left over. Um, and then I will see you guys Friday. So what night is, what is Friday night? So I know the 31st, right? Hadrian's doing a sale. He's only got one posted. Friday will be the 29th. Be the 29th? So Friday night would be good. All right, everybody. I will talk to you guys Friday. Mm, love you all. Thank you. Good night. Stay crazy, man. <laughs>